Two young women on opposite sides of the country are using teddy bears to bring joy to other cancer patients. I was diagnosed my freshman year of college with osteosarcoma. I went through about roughly a year of treatment and uh, therapy to learn to walk again. I was diagnosed with Wilms tumor at two and a half years old, which resulted in that complete removal of my left kidney. Following that, I had six months of chemotherapy, and then for about seven years afterwards, I had to go back to those hospitals to get my blood tests every year. And then I was considered completely free of the cancer by 2008. Being a pediatric cancer patient and knowing what I went through, I didn't want any other pediatric patient to experience what I did. And so that was kind of what inspired me to start Hugs for Love. Being in the hospital, I had my parents with me throughout my entire experience and that really helped me out. Um, but I actually got a teddy bear from one of my friends and it seemed to help me a lot and it gave me a lot of comfort when I was home or if one of my parents were at work and a lot of people at the hospital didn't have relatives with them or somebody to come visit them, especially at night. And so that gave me the idea for the teddy bear project. I come in and I bring bears to the patients. That way they have someone to cuddle with at night. I wanted to make sure that every child in the world with cancer wasn't suffering. From what I've seen so far, it really does help people and everyone seems really grateful and really responds to it well. This is for Nathaniel. He drew this design and this is Nicole's. Just knowing that I can make a difference and just making sure that I can make a positive impact on all these children's lives, all these people's lives, is what really keeps me going. I wouldn't give up cancer for anything just because I know now how strong I am. And I like that.